catch a practice. Catch a rack.
death. Lady of men, lady of the true faith and of the true path of those who breathe, hear my clamor. Give us thine blessing, give us thine righteousness, give us thine peace at the end of our journey. Only thine word is true, only thine church is the path. Thou art the end, and in being the end, thou art the beginning. O lady, I beg of thee, give us thine protection today, that we might make thee an offer of a thousand infidels cut down by our swords. Postpone today our inevitable end, so that our life becomes an instrument of death. By the breath, by the war, by the peace. Welcome everyone to another fabulous Alienware stream. I'm your host Vigo and I'm joined by my very special guest Italo Nievinsky. Sir, thank you so much for joining the stream. How about you introduce yourself to our great audience? Hello everyone, my name is Italo Nievinsky. I'm CEO, founder and uh of Travelforge Studio and director of Deathbound, our game, our beloved game. <laughs> Woohoo! I am so excited to uh, showcase Deathbound here. Uh, Italo, we've had some conversations before we had this stream, obviously. First, folks, though, I want to go ahead and ask you, I want to make sure the audio is coming in well, as always. Well, I just want to make sure you can hear very well. And I'm also going to ask you, like I do every Monday morning, how was your weekend? I want to know. Tell me all the great things you did. What did I do? Well, as I wait for your responses, uh, my son got COVID, so I kind of stayed home and, and just played video games and watched movies. So I didn't really do much. <laughs> Bread on Gaming, welcome. Flaming Sarge, welcome. Jupiter 2. You wouldn't wait for the weekend. What'd you do? Where'd you go? Tell me all about it. Well, uh, this weekend I've been working a lot on Deathbound and also watching a lot of people playing because uh, recently uh, we've been seeing a lot of people uploading a bit of the gameplay. So I've been analyzing, getting feedback and working a lot to improve everything we can. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> well, I imagine the life of a developer and CEO and lead director and all the different hats that you wear is uh, <laughs> you don't get any time off, do you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I've been working a lot. Uh, this is a very important project for us. And every time I need to put a more effort to make sure that everything is on time, everything will work, and uh, we have a great game. So yeah, I put a lot of time onto that. And occasionally when I can, I do other stuff. <laughs> right. One of the other stuff I do a lot is playing. <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah i'm not gonna i'm not gonna put you in the spot to ask you what you're playing besides deathbound but if at any time throughout the gameplay store you know want to talk about what are your favorite games we'll get into that you know how you got into the industry how you became a developer like why did why how you fell in love with this industry we'll get into all of that uh but first folks uh just a reminder that today is going to be a double feature so after we finish uh our great stream here uh with italo uh we're gonna go ahead and uh you know, we're going to go ahead and do Star Trek Online at 3 p.m. Eastern. Don't forget to check that out as well. So it's going to be a very long day for Vigo. But you know Vigo loves interacting with all of you. So, you know, what can I say? It's Do I call this work? Sure, I guess, if I have to. <laughs> so, uh, Idolo, uh, what, why don't we... Um, why don't we go ahead and just kind of jump into Deathbound? Let's get started, showcase your brilliant game, and then we'll start with the conversation here of how you even got to where you are here today. Does that sound good? Sounds great. <laughs> awesome. Let's go ahead and load up here then. All right. Death bound. Here we go. Uh, I, folks, uh, full disclosure, I did play a little bit over the weekend of Death Bound. I wanted to, you know, kind of get an idea. And let me tell you, it's one of the more unique 
games I've had the pleasure of experiencing. So, and you'll see, you'll see what I'm getting at here. So, let me go ahead and go to the gameplay. Bam, here we are. We're going to go ahead and do a new game, but first, let me... I don't know how it sounds to you, all of you. Uh, if it's too loud, too soft, you tell me. Sounds good? All right. Okay, let's go ahead and start a new game. Death, Lady of Men, Lady of the true faith and of the true path of those who breathe, hear my clamor. Give us thine blessing. Give us thine righteousness. Give us thine peace at the end of our journey. Only and folks, in case you didn't know, as per usual, I'm path. cosplaying according to the, the game, end. and uh, and in being the end, yoink. thou art the beginning. Uh, here we go. Oh, lady, I beg of thee. <laughs> Give us thine protection today, that we might make the offer of a I almost, uh, uh, cut down by uh, Idolo, I almost bought Postpone some chainmail, but I thought the clinging against the <laughs> the headphones <laughs> might be a by bad idea. By the wall, <laughs> by the peace. Yeah. Being protected has his drawbacks. <laughs> so It looks like you got some inspiration from psych, some medieval, some medieval inspiration here. You know, what, what was your inspiration behind creating Deathbound, actually? Yeah, we, we have a lot of inspirations, uh, main inspirations, of course, because it's a Souls-like, is from Souls games, like Dark Souls. But in terms of uh, talking about the, the theme, the environment, uh, we try to do something kind of cool and a bit different, not the same as we usually see in those kind of games. And we try to create something like uh, this uh, clash between medieval and modern, a bit of sci-fi, not... Okay. Cool. Uh, so I did, play, I did already play through this, uh, which, by the way, I just think... I, I, I'm over the moon of these mechanics. So, uh, folks, I want to kind of show you uh, uh, here ahead of time before we, we kind of get into the uh, initial combat, right? You can actually switch between different essences. So right now you can see I'm playing kind of like a, an assassin type of rogue character. But if I want to play a tank type of character, I hit the number two. Bam! Right? And then it kind of... And I, and I love this feature, by the way every time you know when you transform for the first time it gives you a nice little synopsis of like okay this is what you can do with this character and what it's good for i, I love this touch huh uh sorry i think i dropped this <laughs> for a moment right oh okay okay so uh i was talking about the the, the scenery of the game so w what we wanted to do is like try to bring these uh contrast between medieval and modern how, how do, would you feel like seeing a medieval knight uh walking down the street you know so we want to create this anachronistic anachronistic atmosphere oh okay so the my okay i'm being told that the screen is a little dark so we're gonna go ahead and see this is what happens when i'm playing on the new aw 27 inch How Q, or the, the 32 inch qd oled i mean this is what happens <laughs> yeah maybe you should put that around 50. <laughs> all right let's do that let's put it there so, uh, seriously folks the new alienware monitor the new 32 inch qd oled is woo. <laughs> amazing all right all right let's do this Okay, let's transform here. Again, I, I love this feature. All right, let's see if I can s sneak up here. 
It's time to transform! Oh! Oh, I got hit there. Woo! Oh, I love that. Looks better? Nice one. Awesome. Woo! So, uh, actually, you know, Italo, let's, talk, let's learn a little bit about you, because, I mean, you're the CEO, you're the director, you're developing all these great games. What was, what was your first game? Tell me a little bit about yourself. Tell the audience a little about yourself. My first game is kind of difficult because I started on Atari, so it backs, it goes way back. So I, I think uh, I was I rem remembering the first game that is like uh, okay, this game is very cool. I think it's River Raid from Atari. Oh, okay, so, okay. Way back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, I go way back too. I mean. I mean, my yeah. first, I think uh, my first game really was uh, like you, the arcade, right? And to me, it was, it, for me, it was Pac-Man. Now, I'm not that old, folks, you know, but like, you know, I'm 44. But um, yeah, that was my first exposure to video games. And ever since then, yeah, I fell in love. Yeah, you, it, bread on gaming, exactly. Atari 2600 was really, it, it wasn't my, it was the first system that I bought saving my allowance. But uh, my sister, who's... Uh, about 15 years older than me she had the old pong device i forgot what it, what it was actually called but yeah i i took that from her <laughs> yeah uh one thing that i may have skipped in my introduction is that uh we are in triforce is from brazil so i'm in brazil and i think i probably get some like time difference in terms of when we all got access to having the atari 360 so probably uh we have some this kind of time difference, mm. but yeah, Heavy Raid is the first game I think. Like, yeah, this is really cool. But I also played Enduro, Pac-Man, and other nice games from Atari. And pretty much uh, the most thing I did in my entire life is uh, playing video games. It's really a big chunk of my life. That uh, yep, that makes sense. So uh, so after you know the the you know the early like Atari type games, right? Like. Was there a particular game that you fell in love with so like so much that you said to yourself, I want to build games? Like, what was that game? Uh, to be honest, uh, I don't think I have that game specifically. Okay. Uh, what happens a bit strange because living in Brazil, uh, I think it's not very common sense that you can like prepare yourself to make games. Make games seems like, uh, you know, games comes from somewhere. I don't know. Who does this? I don't know. What is this? <laughs> and what happened was like at some point I was uh, learning how to program, uh, learning a bit of programming. And the first thing I kind of uh, wanted to do was game, like any kind of interaction that reminds uh, these game like interactions. And I think that's kind of more like how I came. Is, is just like a general love for games and how I approach life. And then when I had the opportunity to uh, do anything, I was like, okay, game. So mm. this is how I kind of began uh, thinking and doing about game. My first, my first interaction, like really trying to do a game yeah, with kind of specialized, specialized tool with, uh, was RPG Maker, but I was just messing oh, around. <laughs> I wasn't RPG thinking Maker. about like professionally. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I remember RPG Maker. Yeah, but I, I played so many, so many games, so many generations. So from Atari to Mercy System, uh, I didn't play much of Mega Drive. Was a little bit in my friends' houses, and Super Nintendo and. You know everything i was always playing something and right. also pc when i get my hands on <laughs> all right let's see here so the combat come on no no oh, you got me <laughs> nope transform whoa smash <laughs> Nice one. Mm. <laughs> no, that's right. Oh, I forgot that you were gonna freaking do that. And I, my stamina is low. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of a lot of people that has this exp first experience deathbound 
say it's like, oh, my stamina, my stamina is low. So what you must do is change characters as, as you did. So as yeah. soon as you have another character in hands, you can start swimming, swinging again against the enemy. So one thing I want to show the audience is that what's really what's really unique and really cool about this game that I thought, um, and again, you know, Italo, we were talking about this before the stream, is that all of your different essences uh, actually can impact your gameplay on with each other, right? So I'm going to show right now is like I'm charging up the fire here, right, with this particular essence. I'm going to charge it up again. Now watch what happens when I pick that the, the stealthy rogue character. Bam! Notice a difference. My blade is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so y you have this uh, opportunity to synergize the characters by using a spell with Olivia, for example. So the other characters have their incantation, the fire incantation, the weapons. So uh, it really helps to get in those uh, important fights with uh, this a bit of advantage. Yeah, and I think we're going to see that. Definitely. Um, so, you know, oh, geez. See, I was just, <laughs> I was looking at, see, you're going to, okay, so you, what you're going to find out about me is that I get distracted because I love to read the chat. I love to interact with our audience. But the thing is, <laughs> is that I'll keep moving and I'll keep looking at the camera and then I won't know what I'm doing in the game. And then I die. <laughs> and then hence why we have a death counter. <laughs> which <I'm> uh, Yeah, <laughs> no problem. <laughs> it's good to have a high, high death counter. No problem. Part of the game. Yeah. <laughs> Poor distracted, never exactly vibrant. Uh, oh, that's right. And I need to now you can equip the item. So let me go to my inventory. And and equip. All right. Yeah. One thing that we did, for example, in those uh, items, you have two different bonuses. That is uh, something that you can upgrade choosing. Which uh, path would you like to take in terms of what you want to to take more advantage of that item? Mm, gotcha. Ah, so you know, again, how long how long have you been working on this game? I know there's like the official number, right, of like how long you've been working on it, but you know, how long have you actually been working on Deathbound? Yeah, we come way back uh, there from 2017, where we started thinking about this game, a game like this uh, action RPG with my, more like a strategical based combat and uh, with inspirations in other games like Dark Souls and other games mm -hmm. that we had at that time. And this was like okay let's try to do something like this let's see how we can do it and then we were like uh, slowly growing understanding more studying and testing things to to get to death call oh okay wow so you've been wait, you've really been working on this for a long time i love yeah. this part <laughs> You get like a nice little a cut a cutscene story here, a little bit more of a background of all the different character, or the character itself. Yeah. So every character you absorb, uh, you will go through this, which you will call essence reverie, mm. to understand a bit more of their backstories and the main things that kind of shaped his personality and what we know about them ah love that so it, it feels like this is a very like there's is there a lot of like deep lore storytelling here uh in deathbound yeah we've worked a lot in shaping this world that we have in the game we call the world Ziemno, and it's divided in different nations which has in some inspirations on medieval uh medieval cultures of our own world and we choose to approach a more historical accurate uh, rather than too fantastical that we we see in some games my apologies young lord but your father made it very clear you are to finish your lesson so for example here they talk a little bit about some uh like all the entities of this world the deathly high priests so yeah, we, we built a lot of backstory from this world and 
we are going to show it a little bit in, in different ways. Oh, yeah, so piece together the story. Awesome. With a title and a thief, with vassals beneath me and a liege above. Nothing to fear, my lord. It is not the first time that I've Ugh. got young Theron here in the chapel at this hour. You have a very pious son. Theron, come. Right? I think Monkstrap, come. I agree. I command. Only our lady commands. Oh. <laughs> That's wild. Yeah, one thing that we, we did in Death Bond was like playing a lot with uh, this clothing and we have all, almost all the characters as something like this to help uh, in their design. So mm. you see this a lot in Death Bond. But Goddess Death had other plans for me. So one other thing that we try to achieve with the game is trying to build like interesting characters with uh, some gray areas, not they're not like heroes or uh, villains. Ah, so you, you can see a little bit of the tutorial there. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so they have like their own stories. Some good things happen, some bad things happen. And all of these shape their personalities. And you will be learning more about them during the game. You will have some memories you see in the beginning. And we will also uh -oh. find new Leap memories in the game. Shite. Ah. I, I thought see. I blocked it. We'll be leading men into battle in no time. Oink. So, and we take this opportunity when you're showing the memories to do like a little bit of a tutorial about how to play with those characters. Which is, I think, brilliant. I think that's a brilliant way, right? You're getting your story, but at the same time, you're getting a feel for the, the character itself. The gameplay. Yes, we, we didn't want to, like, to only be like immersed in the narrative. We want to be interactive and have something that the players can do while watching this story. So chat, don't forget that, you know, feel free to go ahead and ask some questions. If you have any questions about Deathbound as well, we want to make this as interactive as possible. And, uh, you know, I, 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 I love having spes, I love having spes guests uh, here, you know, to, to tell us about the incredible journey that they take to make their great games. Our lives do not belong to us, nor to any worldly power. I make mine an instrument of death. And in the end, Goddess Death will call my essence back to her. To her. Ooh. Great writing. Did you do the writing or did you have someone else do the writing? <laughs> I, I, we had a, a team. We had two. Uh, we had three people working for the most of the time in the developing uh, the, the narrative and one fourth uh, person helping us a lot in, in the dialogues. So we wanted to uh, oh. get uh, like a good writing for the game. It It is solid. That is for sure. I enjoy it. Yeah. We have a narrative director, Thiago. Uh, Batista, he also uh, talked a little bit about the, the, the narrative evening wow. game. We also have uh, Renato Baroni, which he helped us a lot in developing the history. Thiago is, was uh, most of part doing like this backstory of the world. And also had Camila and Rafael helping in dialogues mainly. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thank you, Vibrant. Appreciate it. Potential! Welcome to the chat. Good to see you. Yeah, the sky effect. I, I, all the effects here are just just you brilliant. Death. You insolent brat. You bastard yeah, uh, I, we have like a nice team, really good team. I am really proud. I think the most, the, all the things we did, uh, I think what is the thing that I'm most proud of is being able to gather all these talented people together to make this game. I think <laughs> it was the most important thing that I did during the development of the game, like getting the right people to, to work with us. I look forward to my death. 
That makes sense. And as so, you can see, you have some uh, strong story there. Yeah, so don't forget, folks, if you go to AlienwareArena.com, you can actually get grab the demo here uh, of the game. Uh, and uh, actually, we have a question from chat that is asking, how customizable are the outfits, the character outfits? Uh, the outfits are not customizable. Uh, we focus on having these, all these different characters, so you can have these different designs for each style of gameplay you're having. But uh, we don't have, for now, any customization in terms of their own looks. Oh. We have some plans, uh, but uh, not <laughs> nothing to announce. Right now. <laughs> <clears throat> oh. All right, look, let's see how this character plays out. All right. Wait, did I miss something? Did I miss something in here? I, I like. Oh, jeez. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? There's more. Hey, ah. Oh, you can block too, huh? Oh, I missed. Oh, you... <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, time to switch. So, Woo, heal up. Yeah. Uh, down the stairs. Uh, yeah, I'll let you get there. I'm a bit of. Uh delayed in the stream I'm not sure oh, okay. where you are now. <laughs> yeah, sorry, it's a little bit of delay, uh, yeah. Are there different I mean, are, are there like different classes or is it you choose what you want to equip different weapons? Well yeah, Vibrant, if you look at the different essences, how like I've been kind of dancing through the different characters, that is basically you get to switch between different classes almost on the fly, really. Yeah, that's the main thing of the game. So if you want to play in a different style, you just switch characters and you can do this like with a present for button. Uh, right now, in this demo, we have uh, those four characters we have right now. Uh, we'll, we have another one that can be found, and we have other two that will be in the final game. So you can carry four of them with you, and then if you want to trade with other ones because you find them more interesting for the area or for your playstyle, you can swap them and put them in your team. And between those four characters, you can swap uh, whenever you want. Charge! Yoink. Yeah, you didn't get me. Oh, boy. <laughs> Aye, bananas. What's good? No. There you go. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. as you can see, Vibrant, I'm kind of dancing between the, the different classes. So, you know, we got the rogue type of class. We got a tank type of class. We got a mage type of class, which power up. And then this one is like a DPS class, would you say? I mean, Italo? Uh, which one? Uh, the, uh, Theron, the, yeah. the cape one. Yeah. So Theron is more balanced. So he's like he has a shield, he has a small sword, and he's kind of the most balanced one. If you want to uh, change between like offensive and defense, uh, this is the ba most balanced character. Oh, okay. I so I'll invite you to this this next segment. You keep uh, playing with him, so you have a, an interaction uh, oh. forward, moving forward, and I want to show you something. Ooh, now I'm excited. Well, I'm always excited. But let's let's be real, <laughs> chat. I'm always excited. All right. Let's see. So you find those two soldiers ahead, and then you Ooh. can talk to them. You really? Don't, don't attack them. <laughs> don't attack them. Okay. Yes. Don't do it, Vigo. Don't do it, Vigo. Don't do it, Vigo. Don't do it, Vigo. Okay, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Omen, we were told you had fallen in battle. I need to find the essence mancers. Yes, sir. That's all we've been doing. Uh... Since we arrived, please forgive my brother in arms. So, as we saw in the introduction, Theron is the guy that is kind of commanding these the, the soldiers in the beginning of the cutscene. So, now they are, they, they're like uh, seeing that he's alive, and although they thought he was dead, which is how we found him. He was dead already. And then you have a little bit of interaction, you can talk with them again. They change the, the interaction. Really? Okay, so let's test that out. Okay, let's 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 see this. Oh, now they attack me! <laughs> oh, that's awesome! Yeah. yeah, 
because they didn't awesome. know you you are like this <laughs> that... yo folks that <laughs> is cool i love that so Woo. i was going to ask you to do that because you can talk to them as your own but as soon as they notice that you are like this guy that can transform they find you as as an infidel right? like doing black magic or something like this so they attack you and now that they did that uh they will remember this so next time you go there be careful <laughs> that is awesome hold on let me see if i can power up hold on uh let me let me see how the power up looks like. All right, four. Oh, flaming sword. Okay, cool, 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 cool. No, oh, no, not today. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so man. one important thing you can do in Deathbound that uh, will help you in the combat ahead mm -hmm. is during an attack you change characters you press attack and then you press the inputs to change to another character try oh. this one out. okay yeah i'm totally gonna do that all right rock on all right oh now they're gonna attack me <laughs> what <laughs> that was so cool <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I get excited. It's true. I mean, look, Munstrap is right. Like, you know, you shake car keys at me. I'm going to get excited. But no, legitimately, that... What? Okay, I... Look, I'm 44 years old. I've been playing video games my entire life. I have never played something like that. That is great. Love this. Wow. I have, uh, like it. So, you have this sync bar in the below part of the screen. Uh, each of these slots means you can change the character during an attack or a dodge but uh if you have this bar full when you execute this which you call morph strike they will do like this special morph strike that will consume most of the bar but gives a dev devastating attack to the enemy so you can always change during attack to like keep engaging in the, the fight but uh as soon as you need to change characters during an attack or during dodge to for example, have more stamina with the other character, you can use one of those sync slots to change the character. So one thing that uh, makes a great difference in the combat is using more and more this morph. So as you get used to using this morph, uh, you get each time better in the combat. It makes a, a huge difference. Yeah, this is, yeah, I see that. Oh. And you, you fill those this bar uh, by attacking the enemies or executing a perfect dodge. When you dodge right on the time, it even gets uh, like a slow motion effect. All right, let's let's do this. Okay, hold on. Let me see here. Let me do a charge. Let me charge up because Vigo likes the shinies. Are there any rats in this game? Uh, man, I don't. Know. I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think some games uh, rats can be very uh, annoying. <laughs> All right. Yeah! <laughs> Oi! Nice. So nope. th there's a small window during the morph that if the enemy hits you, you also do that special morph. You did this twice, it's very difficult to do. <laughs> oh yeah! Boom! Eat my hammer! Nice. Ooh! Ha-ha! Beagle strike! Zybok, welcome! Zybok, you can actually pick it up at Alienware Arena. So you're doing very well. When you use Morph as well as you're doing, uh, things get more balanced. <laughs> this is so wonderful. Oh, what a joy. Uh oh. All right. Come on. Nope, not today.
<laughs> the mage gives you a pinky from in the brain. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Pinky in the brain. Uh... Yeah, I used to watch these a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I would advise you to go the other way around. <laughs> OK, will do. So, oh, wait, I so, dropped so an item So go here. back to where you were. There is a, like a small corridor where you can find a checkpoint there. OK. So right through here? And there, yeah. And there is a tutorial. Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah. That's the, so there's a quick tutorial there. That is uh, an interesting mechanic of the game. So you can have uh, all the characters has their own motivations, their own ideals. They think differently. They're not the same and they're not friends. So uh, when you're using them together, they're like all in the same body, all sharing the same mind. So they get in some conflicts. And also, they can get some synergies one one to another. So this mechanic help, uh, allows you to get some buffs and debuffs uh, between them uh, based on where you equip them in your party. So okay. in the checkpoint, you have this option to bind the essences. And then there you can see those, uh, oh. those things. Oh, that is... You 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 all put a lot of thought into very unique mechanics. Seriously. Yeah, when you're doing the design of the game, uh, we took a very careful attention to like really understand what is the main thing of the game and trying to create everything based on that thing. So instead of like reusing like uh, default mechanics that other games did, mm -hmm. we tried to. Okay, how should this be done for a game like Death One? How should we approach these kind of things when you're talking about different characters, many essences, all inhabiting the same body? How do we put this with narrative? How we bind everything together to create this complete experience of Deathbound? Not just like this game that is like this, but have those things, but a complete experience. That that is that is really interesting and and i and i gotta say i you can tell almost immediately the thoughtfulness you put into it which is why i brought it up right like I just an incredible thoughtfulness to like the, the the different mechanics the unique mechanics of this game Ooh, what's this uh if you look up um we may connect the the idea <laughs> what what did it do Press the button. What did it do? It won't do much now, but if you look up, you will see something. Okay. okay. It's an elevator. <laughs> oh, it's an elevator. Oh. Yeah. But you can't use it now. Oh. Uh, okay. Okay. Tom, hello. Yes. Thank you for reminding everyone, Tom, that yes, there is a demo available uh, on Alienware Arena. No. No. Come on, come on. You think you can attack the Vigo? Come on. No, you missed. Oh, no, you didn't miss. Whoa. Oh, no, they did miss. It was just there's another one. Ah! Eat my hammer. <laughs> so, sorry. Nice. <laughs> so as I was talking before, we want to integrate everything in this kind of changing characters mechanic. And one of the things we did is like, when you get hit, you lose health. You also mm -hmm. lose a uh, part of his, your stamina. So your character can't do as much as he do when he's full at health. So oh. we do that. So the player has more uh, uh, appeal to change characters and play with the other characters. Because when you do damage with one character, you heal the others. So if you are low on health with one character, you choose another one so you can heal the other character. So this is another mechanic that integrates with uh, morphine. A lot of people getting a bit of criticism about losing uh, the stamina. But once you get used to changing characters and play the Deathbound dance, <laughs> right. You you get used to it and you see how it makes sense. Gotcha. I think I went the wrong way. <laughs> uh, you need to open the door in, uh, over the stairs. Open the door over the stairs. 
Oh, this door? Oh! <laughs> see? <laughs> this is see this is why I need see geeky geeky perfect timing right geeky this is this is why we I need someone to hold my hand through games because I miss the obvious because I'm like distracted with like you know the chat and and the great game and everything <laughs> all right okay I'm gonna try between two and three that's the the mage and the tank Let's see what kind of joy we can bring. And by joy, I mean smash. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I did it wrong! <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! Oh, whoops. Let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> Ooh. So I'm picking up a number of consumables. Um, is there anything I need to know about the consumables? Uh, they're very straightforward. Uh, they go to your inventory. You can equip them in your belt, and you can press uh, R to to consume them. They mm -hmm. give a number of advantages for the the fights. They're very like one minute use or something you can throw at your enemy is really good to get out of uh, difficult situations but uh, that's mostly it mm. and we, we got some flavor tests <gasps> as well so you can learn a bit more about the world Ooh, a new essence who are you <laughs> so for the demo we don't have the reverie for yulia uh, but it will be in the final version <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay. Spear woman with good speed, uh, with good speed, great reach, can use piercing and slash axe. Ooh, this is exciting. So, so I got swapped out by, okay, the tank got swapped out by this character. So it's yeah, an automatic it's, swap out? Yeah, because you, you can't have uh, more than four so the one you lost now can be reassigned at the the flag terry, which is the checkpoint okay so let's see here so switch okay so i could switch essences through here it looks like am i do i have uh, that right? you need to go to to the checkpoint oh the checkpoint got it okay sounds good well, let's see what this essence can do. I'm going the wrong way. Whee. Nope. No door. Yeah, you should pick up that item. <laughs> oh, there it is. Haha. -ha. Thank you. Ooh, it's a key. So is that an equipable item? No, you don't need to equip it. Okay. You, you use automatically when you get to the door that use it. This is interesting. I I love you get so many different variety of characters that you can play with. Yeah, we try to be very diverse in the cho the chosen of the characters. They're also based on different cultures and they come from different parts of Tsiemino, which is based on different parts of our own world. Uh, it's not the Tsiemino is the world of the game is not like anything connected directly to our world but we do a lot of things that are based on the societies and cultures uh especially medieval ones that we have in our world Ooh. Oh. No! Ah! Hold on, let's try this something different. Ah, you can also one. shoot boats with Anna. <laughs> Alright, two and three, two and three. Come on. Ah! 
<laughs> Death counter. <laughs> Yeah, one, and one of the things that you have four characters, but if you lose one, if you die with one, uh, you die altogether. So this is part of this high risk that we have in the game. Firstly, uh, when we decided about the game, the first idea we had was like, if you die with one, you lose it, and then you keep playing with the others. But this kind of uh, removed this the souls like factor that uh, at any point you can like have like a bad mistake and die it. so we decided that if you die with one character you die so you need to be very careful with your uh, hp management right no, I got, I... it keeps things interesting although people think that it would be good to have like them dying go back, back to another one mm -hmm. i think this one makes things more uh, interesting I, I agree. No, no, no. I, I, I completely agree. I think it makes it more interesting. And I, I, but also, it forces you to to learn to dance between the different essences, and that's what I like. Because uh, if you if you make it so that you know each you know each character you know has kind of its own health pool, it won't force people like me who are stubborn to dance to learn to dance between right the different essences. So I I, I think it's great. Yeah, that, that's the idea. All right, let's see here. Let's go back here. Can you open? Oh, yes, you can. Yay, I used the keychain! <laughs> An item shiny. Oh, jeez! Careful. Hey! <laughs> Oof. Oh, Vigo. Oh, an artifact item. A helmet? Wait. Yeah. A helmet? Hold on a second here. Uh. So let's see here. <gasps> I can wear a helmet? Nah, get out of here. Aha! I, it won't show in the, the character, but uh, you can <laughs> have this nice effect. So, in terms of uh, this item, for example, we, as you can see also in this, the, the houses, you can feel like uh, a modern society. You can see a fridge, you can see a microwave, yeah. and sink, and stove. So, the idea is that you are uh, in a city, which the name of the city is Acracia. And this city is part of this ancient world that was once technological. But when this world was technological, people were immortal. Mm. And then at some point, something happened that we'll be able to discover in the game, that people became uh, mortal. And then the society kind of crumbled and a new society emerged uh, as a medieval one so that's why you have these uh, medieval characters wandering in this ancient city of mm. sorts interesting so you can see uh, some items like this helmet which is uh, an item from the modern society that is in the past that's why uh helmets a uh, football helmet is called ancient helmet because these people oh. they are not too familiar with uh the technology because uh when the society crumbled uh, a new uh entity arise which is the church of death mm -hmm. which calls everything from the old society as heresy so people were kind everything of forbidden. Oh. yeah so people are kind of forbidden to access those cities. And that's why Acracia is also called Forbidden City. Uh, I, it's uh, you, you're going backwards. Uh, I am. Go I'm going backwards. Around. My bad. <laughs> Mortals are pretty sad folk. <laughs> Joy Electric, mm -hmm. welcome to the chat. Welcome to the stream. We decided to showcase Deathbound here with uh, the... Uh, 
director CEO wears all the hats. Uh, Italo Nivinsky, he's uh, he's kind of uh, making sure to hold my hand through the game, make that I don't get too lost in this brilliant world. Oh, there's an item down yeah. there. If you want, you can also uh, hold uh, shift to, to run. I think. <laughs> yep. Uh, you can go up these routes. Oh, I can. <gasps> yes. Oh, ooh. oh, yeah. There's an item there. That was a nice little breadcrumb. There you go. Yeah. Oi! Shiza. Hey. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> As you get used to, to morphing, one mm -hmm. thing that is neat and useful for the game is using uh, the dodge and morph. So you oh. can quickly change to another character in a strategical situation. So if you need to ch quickly change characters and continue attacking or continue dodging with the stamina, you can morph during the dodges. It's pretty useful. Hey! Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Darn it. Oh, no! No, Vigo! Gotta switch. Oh. Nope. Yeah. That was close. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> but you see, but you know, I'm definitely getting used to it. Which games were, so I got a question in chat, which games were a more direct inspiration for Deathbound? Well, well, one of them, one of them I already uh, said was uh, Dark Souls series, uh, mm -hmm. which is, I'm very fond of and really like it. And we also took some inspiration from the sorts of uh, Valkyrie Profile, which is a game that you also play with uh, different characters that you find dead. <laughs> yeah, if you, if you know the Valkyrie Profile, you understand this. <laughs> and we also took some inspiration from some other uh, different genres, for example, horror games like uh, the Resident Evil and Silent Hill because we wanted some uh, no. horror aura to the game. Sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Death counter. Three. I think we're at three. Is anyone doing the death counter? At death. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again. Okay. Yeah. And and these are more direct, but we've been looking all around to get inspirations to do a, every bit of thing in the game. So uh, I think we, we, we need to understand what people is doing, what is good. And yeah, you know, learn more with the others so we can do better, you know, so we can. That's how the industry evolves, you know, people do right. things and do better and do better. And we always keep an eye on the new things that are coming uh, and see what people are liking and stuff like this. Ah, what am I doing? Okay, open. Ah, more on another one. Oh, this, so the key opens multiple doors, huh? Oh, yes. coat of arms. Wait a minute, do I get to wear a coat of arms now? Oh, and I got another ring that I missed out on. <gasps> Wait, I got the key already. I guess I don't have to equip it. Okay, it's already equipped. Okay. Uh... Yeah, you, yeah, you don't like it. And you, you can swap the coat, the coat of arms with your helmet if you like. Oh, interesting. This is what. Ah! Oh, the coat of arms, melee power. Okay, damage power for each heat. Ooh, nice. I like this. <laughs> this one is a bit secret because the door is kind of 
<laughs> in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a door? Can I open you? No. <laughs> no, yeah. What the doors you can open has like a green tint to it. Right, right, right. Like in uh, you know, like in any other game. <laughs> 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 Hello, Vigo. Pay attention. I, <clears throat> you can use those stairs, if, those ladders that you want to avoid this guy. <laughs> Whoa. That's right. I can use the stairs, you said? Uh, the, the the ladder, sorry. The, the ladder? ladder. If you want to avoid this fight, you could use that uh, ladder. Oh. But it's okay. There's a ladder. And as you can see, if, if you look a little bit around, if you go down to the to that uh, bridge, do you remember where is the bridge? <laughs> the bridge, yes. Oh, I, this this ladder? Yeah, this, yeah you, you can use this ladder. And okay. go up in the other one. Okay. Thank you so very much for your patience with me. I appreciate that. <laughs> and then you can climb the cr the trunk. <laughs> Monkstrap is already asking if there's planned for DLC. <laughs> oh, I'd love to. We don't have like a plan now, but oh, we want to expand the universe. We are creating for this game so every opportunity we get we would like to so if you look around you can see a city around just to yes. tease it a little bit look at that oh look at highway yeah look up <laughs> you have some highways you can see some high high buildings so we want to play it a few immerse in this kind of kind of metropolis from the old time I love it. It's, it's important to feel immersion, that's for sure. Okay, let's see what I do here. Well, this person is glaring at me. All right, let's go! Ah, I missed! Why are you so fat? I swear. <laughs> No. Oh. No. You must be careful with bleeding. If have, he uh, yeah. builds up, uh, he gets you to take a lot of damage. <laughs> okay, Vigo, let's do this. All right. Uh, if you want, you can bring uh, bring back the other character with the big hammer. Do you want to do that? No, no, no. I want to. Uh, I'm good. Oh, oh, well, we, I mean, we can, yeah. But we'll do that next time, actually. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do this, and then three. Whee! Let's go. Okay, let's go down this too. Ah! I hit the wrong button. Toket, welcome! Chronix, welcome! Glad to see you all. Hope you had a fabulous weekend. We're here playing Deathbound with the uh, Man of All Hats CEO, director, lead developer. Italo Nyavinsky, <laughs> uh, who is helping and helping showcase his brilliant game Deathbound, and uh, also being very patient with me, thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, by the way, if you if you love this game, you can pick it up at Alienware Arena. Actually, uh, my partner in business, uh, Diogo, is the lead uh, developer. <laughs> Oh, my bad. <laughs> Don't want to take away, take credit away. Okay, what? I went back. What? I went the wrong way. Why did I do that? Oh, up here. That's right. 
Yeah, there we need go. to go up the tree. <laughs> oh, oh, no! 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 Switch! <laughs> Alright. Woo! Alright, gotta dance between one and four now. While the others heal. Ah, here we go. You can Ooh. use the, the crossbow if yes, you uh, right click. Whoop! Whoop! I'm missing. What? I keep missing! Uh, why am I missing? You, you should uh, you approach a little bit and use the Q uh, key, uh, key to oh. lock on to them. What? Thank you for telling me that. That makes me very <laughs> happy. Ha <laughs> 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 ha! <Vigo> be cheesy. <laughs> All right, let's not be cheesy awesome. now. Okay, but I do want to lock in. Yeah, but you only have more three boats, so it yeah. will end <laughs> eventually. Oh, no! Morph! Oi! Oh, woo. Okay. Wow. <laughs> so, as in many other souls, like, uh, when you die, you lose your experience. You need to get there and... Right. Get them back before you die. If you die, you lose them for good. We'll recover essence. Okay. Lost essence reclaimed. Okay. Nice. All right. Okay. Let's see what we got done. Let me actually let me explore up here for a bit. Make sure I don't miss anything. Nope. Seems to be okay. Let's kick a box open. So, do any of these interactable items, does like, does it give you anything? Like, if I break a box, will anything pop out ever? Or? You can find some items behind them, below them. Okay. It's not necessarily like breaking them, but it will help to see them. <laughs> Got it. So I should just run over them! Or no, I can't do that. <laughs> you can also transform close to them that they will explode. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that's fine. I'm going to do that next time. Just... The physics do look nice, I agree. I'll try it in this barrel. So, I, I notice that I keep picking up these small crystallized essences. What are they? Uh, oh, shit, banana. You can, uh, oh, careful. <laughs> you can uh, use them to both heal you and give you a bit of experience. Oh, you are just a joy and a pleasure. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious. So I'm so sorry. What no are problem. the essences for? <laughs> so you, you can equip them and use them to recover a little bit of health. Okay. And you can, you, when you do that, you also get some uh, bonus experience. So you can use to level up. So this, uh, this item is uh, kind of designed in a way that you, you can use it to heal yourself, but it also increases your stakes because you're increasing how much experience you're carrying with you. So you can use them in a safe spot where you can level up, okay. or you can use during the battle to heal yourself. But if you die and lose your experience, bye-bye. <laughs> mm. So we wanted to give some uh, healing options to the player, but not without a stake. Got it. So, hmm. all right. Those uh, consumers can be pretty handy if you want to get out of a difficult situation. Yoink. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh no. More strike. <laughs> oh. All right. All right. No. Don't. All right. I'm going to go for you. Ah! I miss. Run. <laughs> Why miss again? Ah! You can use Q to I know. look on yeah, to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. All right, now we okay. You can't get me. Hey. Yeah! 
Nice Very one. cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, these games are intense. And uh, there's an elevator on the left side of me. It's uh, useful for you. <laughs> oh, it's useful for me, okay. <laughs> All right, oh, we got some arrows. All right, and more consumables. And you said there's an elevator. Like yeah, you should it. go back, I think. I'm not sure where you are now because of the delay, sorry. Yeah, yeah. You found it. <laughs> okay, good. Activate. Oh, and there's another item. Oh, more items. Whoa. Oh, oh, shiny. Oh, shiny. Yeah, th these uh, catalysts can be used to upgrade your equipable items. Oh, excellent. The checkpoints. Oh, at the checkpoints. Okay, cool. Uh, I, am I near a checkpoint? Yeah, you remember the elevator. Oh, the that's right. That's right. This was the button of the elevator. Okay. It all comes together. All right. Let's do that. Yeah. All right. So first, let me upgrade. Let's see. Oh, okay. Let me see. Who do I want? Let's let's go this way. Yeah. Let me have yeah. the chance to talk a little bit about this uh, skill tree. Yes. Uh, one thing is, although you have these kind of different slots with the characters, uh, anywhere you put in a new uh, upgrade points will basically help everyone. It's they're not exclusive, uh, exclusively level ups. Uh, they affect all the characters, but they are in, in different slots because you, as you absorb new characters, as you can see those black spots, you will uh, unlock more. Uh, options of level one uh, so they will also uh, they will always uh, evolve all the characters equally but uh, as you absorb new characters you have more options and more we, we say that you have this character that is absorbing all those essences and as you have more essences it increases your power potential let's say mm. so that's what this means when you start the game you only So, so, so in this skill tree where I'm at, this will boof, boof, buff <laughs> all the characters. So it's not just exclusive. Just to understand that. Yes, all the characters. I'm not sure you can hear me because I yeah. dropped a little bit. Okay. So, uh, yeah, it will buff all the characters, but they are kind of based on that character. So if you, for mm. example, move to this bigger, biggest slots, uh you can see a little bit of uh lore about the character so they kind of based on the characters but they will uh level up for everyone oh that's interesting okay i dig it all right so let's see here so you can you can see the other menus that uh, one is for the upgrade of the items and the other is for the binding of the essences okay upgrade items let's do this all right uh oh Okay, so the ring. Interesting. Morph Strike. <gasps> oh, so Morph Strike, I assume, is when I change essences during the battle, right? Yeah, it's a bonus that you gain in damage when you do that strike while changing characters. Oh, I'm definitely picking that. Yes. Yeah, this upgrade also has like a choice you must do. So mm. each time you upgrade, you get one of these like little squares and you can up up them up to plus five but you need to choose if you want to like upgrade the mystic bonus or the ancient bonus and it will also affect the number of the items you need to use to upgrade so if you want to like specialize in mystic bonus you will use more material it will cost more for you but it will be more specialized but if you are cool with the both bonuses you can upgrade a little bit of each, so it will cost less. Okay, got it. So, so would you suggest it's more about a balance, or rather just go all in on one? What would you What would you say is better? I think it depends a little bit of how you're playing. So, mm. 
as you get more familiarized with the the mechanics you will see okay uh i prefer to like have these more strike or sometimes oh i would like to have these kind of bonuses and it's good because uh as you play you're going to get these items to upgrade the the, the equipment but not as much so if you want like thinking in the long term you can specialize but you're thinking in short term you would rather uh, upgrade a little bit of each because it costs less okay got it got it so All right. some strategy strategy you can uh carry along the play okay uh, this as is talents uh we can back to it soon but i would like you to see the bind assets menu if you can okay so we'll we'll so eventually I'll pretty soon I'll get a point so I can go into the binding essence. No, you you can see the binding essence oh, now. I, I can. Okay, let's take a look. Okay. So there oh. you can see. Oh, whoops! My bad. Uh, you, you need to go in the yeah. in the checklist. Yes. Okay. Here we go. So binding essences. Here we go. Okay. Yes. So there you can see all the characters you you unlocked and will be unlocking. When you choose one slot, choose one of those. Okay, let's go ahead and choose this one. All right. <gasps> so, oh. so you can see in the left the bonuses that are affecting them. Uh, if they're like uh, in adjacent slots, they will give bonus from synergies, and or they will give like bonus and buffs and debuffs for uh, the conflicts. When you see this kind of uh, star-shaped thing in the middle of the screen, this points out the synergies and the conflicts. So you have like this cross line, you have those conflicts, and you, you going around, you see the synergies. So if you want to like get the most out of your loadout, uh, you take a little bit of attention to these conflicts and synergies to to taking them into the game this is and these, these are all based in the how they align is and what they think about each other and stuff like this oh, 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 oh this is interesting so let me see how i can play around with this interesting so they don't play nice together You select Yulia, for example, you can change it for Olivia. And then you will give, instead of the conflicts, you will be getting a synergy between Olivia and Angelus, for example. Oh! <laughs> All right. Well, let me, let me change this out. Then. So instead of the conflict, let me see here. Yeah, so, now you have like three synergies and one conflict. This is kind yeah. of the optimal thing you can do. Oh, really? Because okay. Yeah, because you you have lots of bonuses and only one uh, penalty. Ah, oh, this is so fascinating. I'm I'm digging this, digging this system again. Super unique. Love this. <laughs> and when you have more characters, you have more room to experiment. Wow. So you can move out to the elevator again. <laughs> yep. 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 Move to the elevator again over here. Folks, tell me, give it what are your impressions so far? This looks really cool, right? Like I'm totally digging it. And again, you can get this at alienarena.com. Remember, you get ARP just by watching me on the streams, and you turn in that ARP for great games like Deathbound. All right, so we went up the elevator. Yeah, totally unique, right, Darky? Ooh, uh, hey! Oh, never mind. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. It's going to be like that, huh? 
All right, okay. Yeah! Okay, see? I'm getting used to it. I'm getting better. Yeah. <laughs> so these morph strikes uh, makes a real difference in the game. So you'll be seeing... And... Ow. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's right. Good. Oh, let's see here. No, oh, nothing. Okay, cool. Uh, Wrong way? No. Wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's okay. You can tell me. Please. <laughs> Help! I want to I want to show as much of your game as possible, so definitely. Yeah, go, go through the streets, through the, the flaming... Okay. Torches. Oh, I see items. Okay. I see things to pick up. Oh, something's shooting at me, I think. Careful. <laughs> oh, who's shooting at me? Oh, from up there! You can move onwards, then you'll, you'll be have your chance to, to get okay. back to them. <laughs> okay, okay. Ooh, I want to... Oh, what is that?! <laughs> what in the world is that? Okay, let's go charge in. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh! That is insane. Yeah, so we, we have those. Uh, I, I think this guy is bugged. <laughs> <laughs> so we have different factions in the game. So when you see in the introduction, we see the invasion from the Church of Death. And they're trying to get to the life cultists that are creating these monsters you see in the streets. And at some points, you can see those two factions fighting. Uh, against each other, and you can hop up on hop on the fight if one. <laughs> oh. So yeah, there's little thing in there. Ooh. <gasps> I understand you have not found the essence masters yet. No, my lord. They are a scheming, cowardly lot, but they will not hide for long. Do I have to remind you of what's at stake here, Sir Gilliman? What the Essence Masters are hoping to achieve? No, my lord. I too have been sickened by the account of their villainy. Did I err by trusting you? So as you play along, so you'll be finding some of these memories of the characters you see, Even now, my uh, you, you play with. And when you watch those memories, hour. you also get uh, a bonus point, the memory points that you can use to unlock the talents of those characters. Oh, so you can unlock some uh, special bonuses and uh, mechanics with them. Memory point unlocked. I acquired. I see that. That's awesome. And if I and place that you... again, it just replays it again, right? Yes, and you can only access with the cur the right character. If you try to change to another one, you'll see it will disappear. Really? Wait, wait, hold on. That's awesome. So it, it almost so the, so that's great. So you get a hint that something's here, but you need to have the right essence to activate it. Exactly. That is, again, another unique mechanic in this game. This is freaking amazing. So, see, I, see, I, <laughs> I, I, I said freaking. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's uh, the thing we uh, we integrated with this idea that we have those. Uh, dead characters that you find along the way, how you go through the I, the memories, how we play with those characters, because we want really to develop those characters. We want people to know about them and know how they think. And I think these are great opportunities. And we tied this with these unlockables for the mm -hmm. characters. So as they kind of remember more about them, they kind of uh, learn more how they do things, how they are great, why they are like awesome people <laughs> in uh. terms of uh, <laughs> doing stuff. <laughs>
<laughs> Got it. Okay, cool. Why they have a backstory that we're interested in. Got it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I... and yeah, and you learn not only about the character but also the the main plots of the game. We don't show much in the in this demo. We only mm -hmm. have some glimpses. That is very. It's kind of difficult to piece together, but. Uh, you can go back and there's another trunk you can go up <laughs> okay uh back the way i came or back where i was where that is where, where you were close to the the, okay. the essence guy. Okay. there's a knight in there there's all right trying yeah. to see here oh hold on what am i missing okay nope that's not a door you you go to the cauldron and look left all right to the cauldron got it Ah, where's your cauldron? Where is... Oh, there it is. Cauldron. Look left. There's a tree. Got it. There's the breadcrumb. The item breadcrumb. Yes. There it is. All right. Hi. How you doing? There's someone trying to kill you. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Do uh, you want to be friends? No? I mean, I assume from the death mask that you're not going to be friends. Okay. <laughs> Woo! Okay, all right, all right. Hey! Okay, all right. Nice one. So yeah, we don't have much of the, the main plot, but we, we don't show much on this demo, but uh, we have like a, a nice story going on to, so you to learn more about the world, what's going on, why you, why you can transform, who are you, and all those questions that will emerge during the gameplay that will be uh, thoughtfully kind of unrolled during the gameplay. Oh, this is this is so this is so so unique, so good. Uh, I'm totally digging it. And yes, vibrant. It is totally a Souls-like game. It, you know, it was inspired by those type of games, in part, right? Not entirely. Um, but you know, I, as as the audience knows here, Italo, um, mm -hmm. I've played a lot of Souls type games and featured them on on this stream. But I think what I really like about this is the pace for me is I think more immersive, in my opinion. Right? I feel like the pacing allows for me to be more immersed in the in the story and the environment. So kudos to you and the team there. Thank you. I hope everyone can enjoy the game. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Uh, we. I don't know. Maybe I should have. Who knows? Let's find out. Oh, I should have. Ha <laughs> 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 Eat my <clears throat> freaking boot. <laughs> Look, everything breaking when you transform. <laughs> I, I know. I love it. It's so cool. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything. Oh, there's an item. And someone's firing at me. Oh, that's an arrow. Ah! Can I hide behind the barrels? <laughs> <laughs> And you're next. Oh. Ooh, nice. Uh oh. Change. Oh, there's another one in here. <laughs> okay, Vigo. Okay, you got this, Vigo. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. This is what I'm doing. All right. Yeet. Oh! No! 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 Run! Run! Oh! That hurt! No! No! That's right! Yeet. Oh no! <laughs> Womp womp. <laughs>
Okay, that was that was a nice little intense corridor fight. I could dig it. I could dig it. All right, death count. Yeah, you're not going. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. So one thing I, I didn't. I don't see if you noticed when you were fighting because you're you're running with the enemies there, but there was someone talking to you, like uh, Yulia. Is that you? Oh, really? We have some a specific interaction there if you go uh, with Yulia. So we have this mechanic in the game that you, at some points, you can have specific interactions with specific That's... characters, like not only for the memories, but also to interact with talking NPCs. That's right. You, yeah, I know. I, we, we experienced one of those, which, again, I think was really uh, awesome. Yoink! Oh! You snuck up on me! Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry. I paused there because I needed to take a breath because each... It, it, it feels like every battle is meaningful at some level. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're going for, I think, for this genre, in general, uh, that's how you should approach combat, you need to stay focused, and if you do something wrong, you, <laughs> you miss read the combat, you can die, and that's the, the thing, that's one of the reasons that we decided to to do this thing, that if you die for one character, you, right. you just die, and oh, I think boy. It, it makes you, like, keep sharp and, you know, focus on the, the game. <laughs> Here, have an arrow. <laughs> Here, have a <laughs> no. no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> bananas! Oi! 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 Ah, that's so satisfying. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! All right. Cool. Nice one. So right. you can go that's up the, the trunk. The cauldron, yeah. yep, <laughs> up the trunk. Thank you. Dunk, 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 dunk. Oh, oh well. I also would like to say kudos to the art team, to the Devbound, because uh, I think people have been enjoying a lot uh, what they've seen, both the characters and the, the scenery, so I would like to take this opportunity to say thank you for my team. <laughs> Excellent. No, absolutely. It's always important to give kudos to... Uh, the great work that the team does, absolutely. I mean, and, and honestly, the team has done a great job here. I'm really enjoying what I'm seeing. Oh, I thought I was going to do something fancy. <laughs> you obliterated him. All right. All right, let's see. We're going to get better. We're going to get better. Oh. oh. All right. All right. Eat it. You know what? Let's go over here. Hmm. Okay, I see a couple of you. Let's let's draw you out a bit, shall we? Let's draw you out. Yeah, come on. Come out. You see me. Come on. Whee! <laughs> I screeched. <laughs> Eat 
eat it. Hmm. Okay. Next. Who's next? Uh huh. Come on. Hey. 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 <laughs> oh, I missed! Ah. Very, very satisfying. Let's go get the person that's out there. See, we're getting it. We're getting there. See, I have. <laughs> so, Italo, you gotta understand, I am a person that kind of, you know, likes to tank a lot. So, <laughs> so Souls game isn't exactly like. It doesn't, Souls games typically don't appeal to my, like, I'm going to go charge in, you know, like a uh, personality. <laughs> but once I remind myself that I'm playing a Souls-like game, then yes, I get used to it. And I, <laughs> of course, have a thrilling time. Looking great so far. You've been doing very, very good. Thank you. Booby Grin! Bubby Grin? Is it Booby? Bubby? Bubby Grin. Bubby Grin! Welcome to the chat! And one of the things I like to do for first-time chatters is when you have, like, a unique uh, username or do you have a unique story behind your, your username, your tag, uh, sometimes I get some really interesting stories and I love to hear all about it. So, Bubby Grin, would you be so kind, if you're willing, to share how you came up with your, uh, your gamer tag? Oh, there's an essence. <gasps> It's the spot where he died. <laughs> <laughs> that is the spot that I died. Oh, I have, I have to change to... Uh... Yeah, but you don't have Yuli with you, so you should oh, leave this for another time. Leave it for another time. Got it. Will do. It's something very interesting about this door, but next time. Uh, you should just go back there and go back? follow okay. the stairs. Follow the stairs. Go back to where you were, where you had the, the dialogue with, with the door. Oh, okay. And follow the stairs, got it. Yes. Got some couches. That's a really big TV for a couch so close. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm, I have a very similar setup. <laughs> oh, do you? Ah, that's where you got the inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, nice one. It's so cool. Change up. Yar, super soon. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I got the. Insp I got inspired there a little bit. So, uh, you can go down in the on the the area there to get an elevator. Okay. My gamer tab is actually the short version of my name. Bronba. Bubby. Grin Kraut. Grin. Oh, I love that. <laughs> See, this is why I ask. I love that you get some interesting stories. See, Italo, this is why I love asking the question to like all first time chatters, because sometimes I get some really neat stories and like or some unique takes of how you come up with gamer tags. I think I think the whole idea of gamer tags uh, it, is such a great thing that came out of you know the internet and gaming right it's just we get to have a personality like me vigo right like vigo i have a story behind that name right and i've carried it with me since i was 15 years old like i've been vigo since i was 15 years old now so it's uh, so it's been almost 20 years that i've been vigo you know <laughs> <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm a bit unoriginal i use nievinsky <laughs> nievinsky <laughs> yeah. I but i really like you. nievinsky i really like Hey, I, I love the I love the Nievinsky is a really great name. I think my middle name actually is Maximo. Oh, Such a good name. Very interesting as well. <laughs> Maximo. Yes. 
That, this is a word in Portuguese. <laughs> <laughs> so you have two paths there. I want to advise you. If you want to to hmm. have a chance to go back here, you should take the, the left one. This one will probably... Oh, uh, okay. Dun, 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 dun. If you go through the corridor, you have a nasty surprise. Sorry. <laughs> oh, that's a nasty surprise. <laughs> Go this way. Okay. Sorry, I know there's I know there's a delay. No nasty surprises right now, please. All right. Ooh, okay. Uh, but we will get there. Don't worry. We will. <laughs> Thank you, Philanux. <laughs> okay. So you have a handful of enemies. Be very careful. So you can get oh! Oh! Uh, no! 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 Points. There's so many of you. What happened? Ah! Yeah, yeah, it's nice stamina. Maybe you should do a change in characteristic. Yes, I think so. All right. Nice. All right, let's try this again. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Q. All right. No. This one. No. Oh. oh, there's more of you. No. Oh. Ah! Ah! You can use her boats. You have two. Oh, 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 no! Oh, man! Brutal! There we go. These guys take their job too serious. They really do! <laughs> My goodness gracious! Eh. Wait. No! Oh, ah! Where? Oh, there. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> they give you a hard time this one, this one. <laughs> okay 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 there we go okay okay so there's a, a kind of fancy door uh going up the stairs and okay. uh, a monitor you can open them should i open this door yes Double, okay this one okay let's <laughs> when Vigo runs, another... I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, it's just reading chat. When Vigo runs, he's Vigon. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah. So you can get the thing that is in the side house, but there's also uh, a door when you go up the stairs. Okay. Ooh, fancy door. <laughs> Sounds like an elevator. Oh, that's the door originally that we clicked on. And then there's a safe point nearby. Yay! Exactly. So you can prepare yourself for the next surprise. <laughs> I, can't remember. So I remember have to go to the elevator, yeah. right? Up here. Yes. Uh, it, no, it's not up there. It's oh, no? like down there. Oh, it's down? Okay. Remember there was the elevator. Okay. Let's do this. Ah! What happened? Oh! Ah! What? What? If I may ask Philinux, uh, uh, he has a character that he has a crossbow. Mm. 
Oh. And as hanged option, he can also use uh, as a command. Oh. Oh boy. Oh, this is rough. Okay, I got this. What does this do? I'm gonna take some pills. I don't even know what it does. Did it heal me? I don't know. <laughs> uh, they increase your uh, stamina regeneration rate. Oh, okay, cool. The only thing that you can use to heal yourself is the crystallized or the essence enhancer, but it takes the, the life of the other characters. Yeah, I'm going straight for the save point! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, rest. Woo! You can now spend your twenty thousand XP points. <laughs> yes, I can spend it. Ah, and you, you can take a look on the essence points you, yes. you unlock. It, so you can. Unlock oh, that's right. Yes, talent. yes, yes. Good call. Yes. Yes. Yes! Yes! Confirm! Alright. Yes. And, nope, okay. Okay, I think that's about as much as I can do. Yeah. Alright. And then let's go to the essence talent. Ooh, okay. And there's that one that we did unlock. Oh <gasps> yes. Oh, so I do I pick one? Is that how it works? Yeah, you pick one. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Ooh, okay. Let's see. Increases fire tolerance. Okay. Heron's morph strikes have fifteen percent life steal. I like. And morph during repose to increase damage during bonus shield. Buried enemies take more damage. Shield absorption. Oh, this is might be a good one too. Damn it, I cost reduction on the next attack. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and uh let's steal some life, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Okay. So, j just a reminder: mm -hmm. we have this uh, life steal mechanic in the game that when you hit one with one character, you heal the others. So this one is giving you bonus for this mechanic. So when you cause damage with Theron after a morph strike, uh, the morph strike will cause damage, and then you will heal the other characters with uh, bonus healing. Oh. Okay. And now you have more uh, b b more catalysts to use to upgrade item as well. Yes, I see that. I think we'll try this so, one. So, yeah, for example, you can see that if you upgrade uh, Mystic, you're going to use three because you already plus one in, in Mystic. Right. But if you upgrade the Ancient one, it's only one because you don't have uh, an Ancient bonus. It's, so yeah. when you upgrade, you'll see that we have like a, a green, uh, Square up and uh, blue square down, and they kind of trying to converge until we have the plus five bonus. Oh yes, I see that now. Oh, love it, love it, love it, love it. Good stuff. All right, and then yeah, let's see here. Okay, I think we're good. All right, rock on. Very nice. All right, let's go back to. Uh, that hallway of death for me. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe we should try to run until there without fighting the enemies. All right, let's do it. Avoid the enemies. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, don't worry. I'll go heal. <laughs> no, you're 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 okay. You're probably for me. because you healed. Yeah, I'm not fighting that big one. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, going out of this uh, hallway, you'll just go up the stairs and take the right. Okay. Ah, yeah, someone's following me. <laughs> but no, no, the other, the other. Hi. You can you can jump off maybe. 
All right, let's go this way. Okay. Yeah, I know. I, I heard someone was chasing me, so. <laughs> I panicked. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> so, yeah. You can try to fight them, or you can just go through that uh, hallway. Hey, hey, it wasn't bad. I did. I, I did a good thing. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's see if I can just not completely panic. Oh, jeez. Right. Bye. I am running this way. <laughs> no, no. Uh, take the long card, though. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, well, we're going to go this way. Okay. Taking the long corridor, and we're going to make this work. Boom! Ooh. Oh, this is going to be fun. Okay, I don't want to know what your, what your nipers look like. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, let's see what this looks like here. Wow. Oh. Whoa. So whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Yes, okay. Oh, back off, Vigo. Why are you fighting? <laughs> so, this one thing is... One... Okay, sorry. What just happened? Oh, wow. Oh, boy. What is going on? Yeah, just hitting hard. Take the chance. <laughs> wow. A bit of a problem. AI no. fix it. <laughs> oh wow! Oh. Okay! Oh, jeez! <laughs> oh!
No, no, no. Woo. <laughs> very good. Oh. Oh no, oh no. Back off, Vigo. Nope, 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 nope. Yes! Oh! Pretty good! <laughs> oh! Let's try. Italo. <laughs> that was number one, okay? <laughs> I don't want to know what your nightmares are like, okay? That was horrific, okay? <laughs> number two, that was incredibly fun. Wow. What a but, what a combat! Very good to watch as well. <laughs> watch you doing your your dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh, we're reaching the end of our stream here. Is there a safe point here that I can grab? Close by or? Just walk ahead. And you'll see. Well, just walk ahead. Okay, I got you. I got you. Ooh! Hello! <gasps> What is this? Okay, team, <laughs> we did not plan this. That was perfect timing. Perfect yes, timing. <laughs> I love the universe. I love it. Ah, oh, woo. Very wow. Ah. Oh, just, oh, the joy, the joy. All right, let me go ahead and change out our screens here. Oh. Everything works in our favor. <laughs> that was perfect timing. Wow. All right. Oh, sorry. I hit the mic. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, Italo, that was a joy. Folks, tell me. Tell me that was not awesome to watch. Tell me your tell me your impressions here. I want to hear it. We want to hear it. We want to see it. This was so fun. Wow. Uh, so, yeah. yeah it was nice to be uh, in your back seat now. <laughs> it was really fun to uh, watch you playing, and you did a very good work. Uh, it is not it's not easy to to be the boss first try. <laughs> <laughs> Thank I've you. I see a lot of people playing. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. That was, that was, yeah, that was incredible. Darky, I agree with you. That was, that was incredible. Wow. Oh, wow. So you, kudos to you and the team, Italo. Thank you so much for joining us and to showcase your brilliant, brilliant game. It, it, it was a pure joy for me. I think the audience really enjoyed it as well. Um, is there, is there anything you want to add? Any kind of, uh, any kind of updates? When can we expect, you know, for a full release of the game? T tell us a little bit more about what's coming up next. Yeah. Okay. We, we've been working in the game a lot of time. I'm very happy that we were able to get this demo to people. It's only pre-alpha. We are still having a lot of things to adjust and polish for the final release, which is going to be this year. I don't, I can't say more than that, but this year, of course. And I'm very excited to to be getting closer and closer to the release. As I told, uh, it's since 
2017 that we have uh, this game in our minds and is being evolving and evolving. And I'm very happy that we are able to come up with this nice demo. And uh, I would like to thank you, Tate Multimedia, which, which is the publisher of the game that's helping in, in this journey. And it was uh, the ones that made us possible to come up with this nice team and have everyone working together to make this nice game for you guys. And this is it. I, I'm a player and most of, our, of my team are passionate players. And one of the things that is the, the best thing of what we do is to have the chance to put the game in the hands of the players and see them playing. What a joy to see uh, people interacting with our ideas and see the stories we put in the game. And uh, one of the things in Trial for Story is that we want to create kind of minimal, mini, meaningful games. So we don't just want to make games that are just games. We want to put some deep thought of uh, what things are we, we are telling to the players, what are the ideas, and uh, have this experience that is go beyond the controller and, and when you stop playing, you want to talk about it, want to think about it, and this can somehow affect how you view the world. Wow. It, it really shows the, the love and passion that uh, you've put into Deathbound. It is wonderful. Uh, I can tell you, I, I, I'm, I'm just going to put you on the spot here. Whenever full release happens, please let me know because I would love to continue showcasing your your beautiful game here. And I'm already, you already have a fan in me. So thank yeah. you. <laughs> I'm very happy to hear that. You know, of course, we're going to be in touch. <laughs> Awesome. Love it. All right, folks, uh, this goes ahead. Uh, this concludes this uh, this this part of the stream today. Remember, today is a double feature. So in about an hour, we're going to go ahead and play Star Trek online. But please do not forget uh, that you can go ahead and get the demo of Deathbound at AlienwareArena.com. Please go ahead and grab it. I'm sure that everyone's going to love to see it. Oh, Geek and Lonely, you're saying the servers are offline, no ETA. Hey, if we have to reschedule Star Trek Online, we will. That's okay, but we'll go ahead and play it by ear for now. But thank you so much for letting me know, Geek and Lonely. Again, thank you, everybody, for joining okay. us. It's always a pleasure. Oh, I'm sorry, you have something else to uh, share? If you can say just one last thing. Yes. Please, guys, wish list Deathbound. This helps us a lot. <laughs> wish list on Steam, Deathbound. It helps Idolo and the team do a fan do, do do stuff I, i'm not sure what it does but it help you but it helps you and that's all we need to know yeah. we want to help you i'm going to go ahead and do that too if i haven't already so thank you everybody have a brilliant rest of your day uh ref indeed thank you for joining and you know it's it, this is uh thank you for making such a part of being part of a team to create such a wonderful game i love it so again let's try this again outro thank you everybody for joining the stream i'll see you in an hour if the sto servers are online if not we will schedule keep in touch all right love you all peace live long and prosper have a brilliant brilliant rest of your day take care everybody take care bye-bye